Hello and welcome to Down the Forest Path. Today I don't have one of my usual podcast episodes for you, but I'm trying something new. I've always been really curious about how long I actually take to knit a sweater. And I know that that time can vary very wildly depending on the yarn weight and the pattern I'm using. But I've asked myself, can I do a sweater in 24 hours? So that's what we're going to do today. One sweater pattern. I've picked the Magnolia Bloom by Camilla Watt. 24 hours of knitting time. To be perfectly clear here, I'm going to be trying to make the sweater in 24 hours of knitting time, not 24 hours of actual time. So I'm not trying to finish it by this time tomorrow, but I'm trying to see if I can do it in 24 hours dedicated to knitting. Because if you do try a marathon knitting session, it might actually end up hurting your hands. Um, and since I do quite a lot of crafting stuff, my hands are incredibly valuable to me. So I'd rather not deal with carpal tunnel syndrome. We have some pro and cons for this pattern. So um, this should be relatively quickly going because this is a pattern that's knit with quite a bulky yarn and wool because it's knit several strands at once and it's knit on big needles. I think it's a six millimeter and seven millimeter needle. So that should make it faster. Um, on the other hand, I think I have already looked a tiny bit at the pattern, um, but I've not fully studied it because that's also part of the knitting process. But I think we have a double um, neckline here that will cost a bit of extra time. I'm not sure if I will do that yet because I don't like it so much when it's really warm around my neck. And I have never knit this pattern before. So we have the pattern. And we also have some yarn. I'm going to be using drops yarn for the sweater. I'm going to be using the drops alpaca silk and the drops lima held double because I think that might hopefully, hopefully match my eye color a little bit once it's done because I am keeping the sweater for myself. And what we also have are some chunky needles to get this done. So. I'm going to be casting on, I'm going to set a timer on my phone and I'm going to pause it whenever I take a break or do something different and then I will keep you updated. checking in with you after 45 minutes and we have a finished neckline. So I decided I will not be doing the doubled up collar because it will be too warm. I have put it on my head like this and then I folded it in the middle and then put it and I was like, nope, 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 that's too warm. Like, so it's perfect. So I'm just going for that, which Coincidentally, also will save us a tiny bit of time. Okay, update. I had a little bit of lunch and now I'm ready to start on the, uh, the lace for the yoke. So I would say, clock's running, let's keep going. We are two hours into this experiment and the yoke is starting to take shape and can see some nups. I've this is the actual first time I'm knitting nups. And I'm finding it's quite hard on the hands because you have to pass all of these stitches over. So I think I might take a little bit of a break and give my hands a rest. So I've moved to the sofa to be able to watch some YouTube videos while I'm knitting and I think we're now about almost three hours and a bit less I think and um, we have a substantial part of the yoke. Uh, 
I think it's the last bubble that's done. We're about eight and a half hours in and the whole lace is finished. All of the yoke is done. 12 and a half hours in and I have mostly finished the body of the sweater. It's just missing the ripping now. So it's going super quickly now that it's just stocking and stitched and the lace is done. So we're now in the Euro Tunnel and netting and I think I'm about 15 hours into the 24 hours. Um, and I have my little travel knitting light with me, which helps seeing all of the stitches. the magnolia bloom sweater and i think all in all it took me about 20 hours to finish i think it was like 20 hours 13 or something like that i think i could have done it faster quite a bit faster if i'd really pushed because i didn't always pause the timer to go grab a cup of tea or something like that and i didn't speed knit it either so i think it should be doable in about 16 if you really push it but that's not really what i wanted to do and also not what i wanted to do for my hands but i'm really happy with how it came out and it was a really great experiment to try i think what i was really surprised by was that i needed about i think eight hours for the yoke and um, i thought okay well then i won't need the same amount of time again for the rest but the rest actually took that amount of time again even though the lace was quite complicated and the yoke is quite deep but I think that's also because I made my sweater relatively long so it goes down to about the middle of my tie so that of course added a bit of time and the sleeves are also quite long so that's it from my side for today thank you so much for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel bye